Good morning. Welcome to Coffee with the Librarians, week of February 14th. Um, I specifically asked for a message around love instead of waiting to hear what they had to say just because it's Valentine's Day and I figured that was appropriate and that that's what people wanted. So the <laughs> message that I got around that was actually a bit humorous, like how funny it is that us humans relegate love to one day. How funny it is that we celebrate something that is universal and that connects all of us and that is all there is on one day. And isn't it funny, humorous, to think that that we even need a day to celebrate it, that we even need, um, that we even need to talk about something because it, it, it's all that there is. It is what it is. And they ask us, they say what, what we would be better off doing on a day like Valentine's Day is thinking about how ironic it is that we separate one day out of the entire year and spit it around romantic love for another. When really there is such a unifying field of love around the entire planet that we can be tuning into and celebrating every day. And they want us to know that we are connected. Oh, this is coming fast. Sorry, that they are that we are connected to this unified field of love around the earth. When they talk about like a power grid around the earth, the power grid around the earth is the love grid that's going on around the earth. We can't not be connected to it. We are a part of it. We are always in it. But what we are doing so often is we are looking down or looking up or looking to one different side and that we are not allowing ourselves to be caught up and felt in the love. We are part of it, but we are resisting existing and we are holding ourselves a little bit apart from the love that is already there. And that it's not that we need to seek and find love. All we need to do is quit resisting love. And as soon as we quit resisting love, it's already there for us and it is the easiest thing in the world. And then a day such as today, Valentine's Day, where we're celebrating one kind of romantic love, one kind of fun thing, then it becomes more fun because we're not resisting all the love that's already there. We are in a unified field. They're telling me, they're asking me to share how the, the consciousness that we are connected to every human being, that we are like they're showing me the other side of the world. For me, like Africa, that we are connected, that that love goes around, that there is love between all of humanity we just need to relax and feel it. And then when we go into that romantic love, it's a specialness. It's a sparkiness around that love. So it's not that we don't have love. We have love. It's that we don't have this one kind of love sometimes. And then that we fixate on, I don't have this one kind of love. And we push away all of that other kind of love. So what they're saying on Valentine's Day is for us to smile at ourselves for us to laugh at ourselves in recognition that we are love and that we are loved and that there is a connection of love between all of us on the planet. Thank you. And people who are not on the planet too, people who have already crossed over. There is a unified field of love between angels, guides, people who have crossed over. Like there is a unified field of love everywhere. It's just that it's extra strong around the planet when we are in bodies because oh, that's interesting because when we have bodies, we have a different, I don't know what this means, but we have a different kind of electrical charge in our bodies. So it feels different and we're more able to resist love. When we get out of a body, we are more able to receive love. Our body could be used to receive greater love and it can be used to resist love. Why are we using it to resist love when it can be used for something to receive love? That's a really good question. So what they're asking us to do is to focus on the love that we are a part of, to quit resisting that love. And if we want to get excited about romantic love, because it is fun and it is exciting, to recognize that that is a specific charge. It is a spark. And to play with that spark, enjoy, enjoy and enjoy, like there's play on words going on there, 
Um, because it is fun and it is special, but never to feel like we do not have love when we are not playing in that field of love because love is all there is and we have it. It's just that we're not playing with that one little teeny tiny kind. So not to fixate on that and to enjoy and enjoy and be in all the love through recognizing that love. So happy Valentine's Day. Bye.